Hello, this is MrickJ101, and today I'm going to do the last run of this Sterling engine, well, at least if it runs. Um, so, basically, I think I've killed it because the, the, or the displacer is pretty much dead. It's an aluminum can, and I think I overheated it. So, I think when it, um, when it heated up, the displacer got a bunch of pressure in it, and it actually found a way to release itself, the pressure. So the pressure got released, and then when it cooled down, it it basically crunched a can, I think. Because now we've got all kinds of rubbing and bad sounds inside the displacer there. So, and it kind of stops there. It doesn't want to spin very easily. But I actually added a diaphragm, and I was able to get half of a watt, which is really good for this engine. Um, with the With the piston, I was only able to get about... Um, a quarter of a watt so but this piston is just two one fourth inch copper connectors um, that are glued together so it's a little longer than a piece of pipe there for the piston but I was only able to get a quarter watt with this and with this nice diaphragm that I just made um, I'm able to get about half a watt so I don't know if I'm gonna get a half a watt in this video or not but um, probably this linkage is probably part of the problem I could probably actually get more than half a watt if I um, if the displacer didn't have a problem and this was probably a little stronger because it's pretty flimsy there and it's just kind of screwed on there just because I wanted to see how much power I could get out of it because I was getting tired of this engine just because it didn't really perform as I wanted it to so I'm going to um, I'm start I'm building my new one um, and I'll have some videos up soon of that one but um, for now I'll just run this one um, because I actually noticed that I didn't actually have a good video of this one up yet but we'll start it up here and I actually overheated it with this nice Bunsen burner that's probably how I overheated it um, but this is actually running off natural gas so I'll just put it under there while it heats up but I just have it tapped in right here to our natural gas by our furnaces and um, it works really good it's cheap too so much cheaper than the propane tank there which is probably a couple dollars at least for just that propane tank which doesn't last too long but um anyway we've got it heating up down there and I had it glowing last night Let's see if it'll run and it's close but it might not run ah. had to heat up a little bit longer and it might run so but yeah I was getting half a watt out of it so I'm pretty excited about that. That's my record. Um, but but the way I made this diaphragm was basically I have this I had this piece of wood that I cut a round hole in it to match this plate here that I had. This is a steel plate with a hole in it. And I basically took the rubber. Um, this is look, oh, there we go. It's running. It sounds pretty sad, but it's running, so. But I used this pond liner for the um, for the diaphragm. And I basically had to, well, I'll tell you that in a minute, but um, anyway, let's put the generator up and see how much power we can get out of it right now. Alright. So I have this little motor hooked up here. It's only getting 4 volts right now at 600 milliamps, almost 700 there. But I was getting, well, we're getting 8 volts now. 8 volts at 600, that's about, that's about half a watt there, probably. So... Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah, it still sounds really, really sad, but it's running. But as you can see, this this is bending a bit here, so I'm losing some power there, and I'm sure I'm losing a lot of power in the um, displacer there from it rubbing and crunching. But we've got it glowing a little bit down there. Oh, yeah, it's glowing. Turn it up a little bit there. See if we can get it more out of it before it totally burns out. Yeah, it sounds really sad. Oh yeah, it's going real nice down there now. Yeah, we're not getting too much power anymore. Let's go for speed.
So yeah, that's about all it's going to do probably. Not too much more than that right now. But um, the way I made this diaphragm was I had this pond liner. It's really tough. It's pretty thick stuff. But um, this stuff I tr I clamped it between. I clamped a piece between this piece of metal and the wood there. And I um, basically just tried a couple times heating it up with the blowtorch and then stretching with like a board or something. And it would not hold its shape at all. So what I did was I put this piece of wood in the vise here and then I had a I had have this jack thing there and I put a can in the um in the in the diaphragm and had this board um pushing on it and I put a bunch of pressure on it and stretched it a bunch and then I heated it up for about five or ten minutes with the blowtorch which took a long time and it took about five minutes for it to start smoking this stuff is so tough and once it was smoking I then cranked it a little bit more to stretch it some more and then I sprayed it with water and um, then it finally held its shape somewhat so that's how I got it to actually make a nice diaphragm there and then I made this little linkage here it's just a piece of metal with some holes in it to um, take away some of the stroke because there's too much stroke with this it wouldn't work so well with that much stroke you'd have to have a pretty odd shaped diaphragm that wouldn't really work too well so I'm using this diaphragm here that's much bigger so it'll give much more it'll push a lot harder but it won't go back and forth as much so I can adjust that with this so it gets a lot more um, what, what do you call that um, it converts the torque from or the um, pressure yeah I don't know just the leverage it has a lot of leverage on there so it um yeah but um, anyway, it works pretty good for a little bit there till it died. So I'm starting my construction, or I have a lot more progress now on the construction of my new one since this one's dead. So um, so yeah, um, I'll have some videos up of that the new one's construction soon. And um, thanks for watching.